Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Friday, the 19th of November. Um, so as we come together, let us pray to God and let us ask for him to be with us as we pray. Let us pray for one another and let us give thanks for the day that has been. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. She be glory and praise for ever. Now as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions. Cleanse us by your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts and make us ready to enter your kingdom, where songs of praise forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Give me the wings of faith to rise within the veil and see. The saints above, how great their joys, how bright their glories be. Once they were mourning here below and wet their couch with tears. They wrestled hard as we do now with sins and doubts and fears. I asked them whence their victory came, they with united breath. Ascribe their conquest to the Lamb, their triumph to his death. They mark the footsteps that he trod, his zeal inspired their breast, and following their incarnate God, possess the promised rest. Our glorious leaders claim our praise for his own pattern given, while the long cloud of witnesses show the same path to heaven. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts, and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 77. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. I cry aloud to God. I cry aloud to God, and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. By night my hand is stretched out and does not tire. My soul refuses comfort. I think upon, the Lord, upon God, and I groan. Ponder and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. My spirit searches for understanding. Will the Lord cast us off for ever? Will he no more show us his favour? Has his loving mercy clean gone for ever? Has his promise come to an end for evermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up his compassion in displeasure? And I said, my grief is this, that the right hand of the Most High has lost its strength. I will remember the works of the Lord, and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your works, and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who works wonders and declares your power among the peoples. With a mighty arm you redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you and were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds bore out water, the skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the ground. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea and your paths in the mighty waters, but your footsteps were not known. You led your people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In the day of my trouble I have sought the Lord. <clears throat> Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of the prophet Daniel, chapter 10, verse 1 to chapter 11, verse 1. In the third year of King Cyrus of Persia, a word was revealed to Daniel, who was named Belshazzar. The word was true, and it concerned a great conflict. He understood the word, having received understanding in the vision. At that time, I, Daniel, had been mourning for three weeks. I had eaten no rich food, no meat or wine had entered my mouth, and I had not anointed myself at all for the full three weeks. On the twenty-fourth day of the first month, as I was standing on the banks of the great river, that is the Tigris, I looked up and saw a man clothed in linen with a belt of gold from Uzpah around his waist. His body was like beryl, his face like lightning, his eyes were flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and the sound of his words like the roar of a multitude. 
I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. The people were, who were with me did not see the vision, though a great trembling fell upon them, and they fled and hid themselves. So I was left alone to see this great, this great vision. My strength left me, and my complexion grew deathly pale, and I retained no strength. Then I heard the sound of his words, and then I heard the sound of his words, um, then I heard the sound of his words, and when I heard the sound of his words, I fell into a trance, face to the ground. Then, <clears throat> but then a hand touched me and roused me to my hands and knees. He said to me, Daniel, greatly beloved, pay attention to the words I am going to speak to you. Stand on your feet, for I have now been sent to you. So whilst he was speaking this word to me, I stood up trembling. He said to me, do not fear, Daniel, for, for from the first day that you set your mind to gaining understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words have been heard, and I have come before, because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia op opposed me for twenty-one days. So Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I left him there with the prince of the kingdom of Persia, and have come to help you understand what is to happen to your people at the end of days. There is a, there is a further vision for those days. Whilst he was speaking these words to me, I turned my face towards the ground and was speechless. And then one in human form touched my lips and opened my mouth to speak and said to the one who stood before me, My Lord, because of the vision such pains have come upon me, that I retain no strength. How can my Lord's servant talk with my Lord? For I am shaking, no strength remains in me, and no breath is left in me. Again one in human form touched me and strengthened me, saying, um, and strengthened me. He said, Do not fear, greatly beloved. You are safe. Be strong and courageous. When he spoke to me, he was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Then he said, Do you know why I have come to you? Now I must return to fight against the prince of Persia, and when I am through with him, the prince of Greece will come. But I am to tell you what is inscribed in the Book of Truth. There is no one with me who contends against these princes except Michael, your prince. As for me, in the year, first year of Darius the Mede, I took, stood up and to support and strengthen him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have come before uh, the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We have come before God's holy mountain to heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God who is judge of all, before the great spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the med meditator of the new covenant. We have received a kingdom that cannot be shaken. So let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God to share in our inheritance with the saints in light. Our New Testament uh, reading is continuation of the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verses 1 to 10. I saw a beast rising out of the sea, having ten horns and seven heads, and on its horns were ten diadems, and on its heads were blasphemous names. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth like a lion's mouth. And the dragon gave it uh, his power and his throne and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have received a death blow, but its mortal wound had been healed. It, ama it In amazement the whole earth followed the beast. They worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against it? The beast was given a mouth, uttering haughty and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for forty-two months. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God, blasphemies his name and his dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. Also it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. It was given authority over every tribe and people and language and nation, and all the inhabitants of the earth will worship it. But everyone whose name has not been written for the foundation of the world in the book of the uh, of life of the Lamb had been slaughtered. So anyone who has an ear, listen. If you are to be taken captive, into captivity you you go. If you kill with the sword, with the sword you must be killed. Here is a call for endurance and faith of all the saints. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and art of receiving your glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and ask to receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and ask to receive me with glory. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and after receive me with glory. You have left all things and followed me. You will be rewarded a hundred times over and gain eternal life. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his low servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have left all things and followed me. You will be rewarded a hundred times over and gain eternal life. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We thank you for all that you've done with us and through us. Thank you for laying the path before us and helping us to follow it. Thank you for showing us the wisdom that we may understand. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are sick at this time. We pray for those who are in need of your comfort and your compassion. We pray for those who have been hospitalised. We pray for all who have died. Lord, Help us to show care and compassion to others. Help us to work to protect others from harm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we approach these dark and cold days, we pray for those who will struggle through this season. We pray for those who will struggle to make ends meet. For those who will have to choose between keeping warm and being fed. For those who will make use of the food bank. For those who will need the help of the fuel bank. Help us who have abundance that we may share. Help us to create a society where none have lack, but all have sufficient. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are in positions of authority. For those who are called to lead others who are called to take care of others. Help all who are in authority that they may work for the good of all peoples and not for selfish ambition. We pray that they would work for those who are least able to help themselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for peace in this world, for an end to violence and end to suffering. We pray for those who are displaced by war and conflict, for those who are fleeing violence. We pray especially for those who are the victims of domestic violence. We pray, Lord, that your peace may inhabit this world, that there be no more war. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us and those who are known to you alone. We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Ella, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Peter, Robert, Rose, Bailey, Sarah, Gwenna, David, Helen and Mary. We pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives and those who recently lost their lives. We pray especially for Austin as for, and for all who attended his funeral today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God, who made the abbess Hilda to shine like a jewel in our land and through her holiness and leadership bless your church with new life and unity, help us like her to yearn for the gospel of Christ and to reconcile those who are divided through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join us on Sunday at 8 a.m. for a BCP Holy Communion at St. Mary's. At 9.30 we'll be at St. Thomas's for fun on Sunday morning. At 11 o'clock we'll be back at St. Mary's for the Eucharist, which will also be streamed online. Morning evening prayer will be Wednesday through Friday next week. So until we see each other, go, God bless, stay safe, have a good evening, and have a very good weekend.